The world's scariest ghost towns. The world is full of ghost towns, eerie remnants of the past that have been left to decay and crumble. As we wander through the abandoned streets of once thriving towns, we can't help but feel a sense of unease. But some ghost towns are scarier than others, with stories of hauntings, curses, and mysterious disappearances. In this video, we'll explore some of the world's scariest ghost towns and the eerie tales that surround them. Before we begin, however, like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can watch more blood-curdling videos. Hashima Island, Japan Let's start with our journey with Japan's Hashima Island, located just 9.5 miles 15 kilometers, off the coast of Nagasaki. This small, uninhabited island is nicknamed Battleship Island due to its shape and has been abandoned for many years. Despite being deserted, the island is not empty, as the ghosts of its past have taken over the buildings. First, here is the dark history of this eerie island. In 1887, Hashima Island was a vital coal mine, which Mitsubishi later purchased in 1890. It became a symbol of Japan's rapid industrialization, and the first concrete building, a nine-story structure, was built in 1916 to protect workers from typhoons. From 1930 to after World War II, Korean and Chinese prisoners were forced to work here, enduring harsh conditions, and some did not survive. During the mid-1930s, it is estimated that around a thousand workers lost their lives on the island. This led to the island being called Jail Island or Hell Island. After the war, Japanese workers came to the island and its population peaked in 1959 with over 5,000 people living and working in cramped spaces of only 5 feet 1.5 meters each. Although tourists are allowed to visit the island today, the past still lingers. The relatives of forced laborers and the crumbling buildings serve as reminders. Fishermen sailing near the island claim to have seen flickering lights in the buildings, despite no electricity. There is a belief that the island is haunted by the spirits of miners who have passed away. Strange noises and cold spots have been reported. Some say they feel watched or touched by unseen hands. St. Elmo, Colorado Next, we have St. Elmo. It is a former gold and silver mining town in Chaffee County, Colorado, United States. Established almost 150 years ago in 1880, it was once a thriving town with almost 2,000 residents. It was a flourishing town with multiple hotels, saloons, a schoolhouse, and thriving businesses. However, since the mines dried up in the 1920s, the town had become a ghost town with only two occupants, Annabelle and her brother Tony. Cutting from the outside world, the town lost its glory and died in 1952 when the post office closed. The town is known to be haunted due to the blood-curdling story of Annabelle. Annabelle, known as Dirty Annie, is said to haunt the town and protect it from vandals and trespassers. Following Annabelle's passing, there have been reports of peculiar incidents from visitors. Once, while some children were playing in the hotel, all the windows and doors abruptly slammed shut and the temperature decreased by 20 degrees. In another instance, a visitor observed a young lady in a white dress standing at a hotel window. These weren't the only incidents with Dirty Annie. There have been sightings of her ghosts patrolling the streets, among others. If you want to visit, planning your exploration during good weather is recommended. Nevertheless, the town has excellent mystery and secrets, with or without the ghost of Annie. Feel free to visit. Just avoid staying out after dark. Who knows, you may be Annie's next target. Benga Fort, India Moving on, let's take a ride to India. Located at the border of the Sariska Tiger Reserve in the Alwar district of Rajasthan is Benga Fort. This 17th century fort is known throughout India as the most haunted place in India due to numerous ghostly experiences and happenings. The fear surrounding the fort is so great that villages have been built far away. The Bengal Fort was built in the 17th century in Rajasthan by Man Singh I, one of the Navratas of Akbar's court for his son, Madho Singh I. The town has profound mystery, and two legends explain the eerie atmosphere surrounding the fort. The first legend claims that the fort was built with permission from an ascetic named Bala Nath who lived there, on the condition that the fort's shadow never fell upon the ascetic's home. Unfortunately, 
one of Madho Singh's successors, added to the fortifications, causing its shadow to engulf the ascetic's abode. The fort then became ghostly and haunted. There is a popular legend about Princess Ratnavati of Bengal, who refused the advances of a local black magician. The legend suggests that, as a result, the magician cursed the entire landscape. This legend is widely accepted by the locals, who believe that the fort is haunted and that spirits roam the area at night. As a safety measure, no one can enter the fort after sunset or before sunrise. Many locals have reported paranormal activities within the fort, and visitors often feel they are being watched. The air is charged with a heavy and eerie feeling, and strange noises can be heard. The ASI has established an exemplary board advising visitors not to enter the fort's premises during the dark hours. Whether one believes in the legends or not, the fear surrounding the Bengal fort is undeniable and it remains a hauntingly intriguing destination for tourists. Jazirat Alhamra, United Arab Emirates Coming up is Jazirat Alhamra, an abandoned fishing village located 31 kilometers south of Ras Al Khaimah city in the UAE. It was built by three local tribes, with the Al Zab tribe ruling it in the 14th century. Al Jazira Al Hamra was initially inhabited by fishermen and pearl divers, gradually growing to almost 2,000 people by the 20th century. The village's name means the Red Island because it is on a tidal island. However, it is now nothing more than eerie remnants of houses, schools, mosques and marketplaces. The village was abandoned when oil wealth led to rapid urbanization in the creation of the UAE. The village's demise is still debated, whether due to tribal conflicts with the ruler of Raz al Khaimah or the lure of luxury in Abu Dhabi after the discovery of oil. Visiting this ghost village is a unique experience in understanding how life quickly changed in the UAE. Al Jazirat Al Hamra ghost town is known for strange occurrences, including feeling watched, mysterious lights, and disappearance of cats. It is rumored to be haunted by the Dijin or Jin. It has been said that some divers were rendered unconscious by the Dijin, but others were able to rescue them by reciting prayers. In some cases, divers were even possessed by the Dijin and spoke in a high, reedy woman's voice. According to locals, Dijin can take the form of talking animals, such as goats or cats, and some animals were even observed transforming into different forms right before their eyes. The small Arab town where these events occurred is shrouded in a dark mystery and no one knows why it is so haunted. Zanantunik, Belize The next ghost town we have is Zanantunik. It is a popular Maya site located near the town of San Ignacio and Belize's border. Its name means Stone Woman. While its original name is lost, the legend shows that a woman's ghost haunts the site. El Castillo, the second tallest building in Belize, at 130 feet, is the most famous temple in Zunantunic. The awe-inspiring structure is decorated with stone carvings that tell the stories of the Maya civilization. Zunantunic dates back between 600 to 300 BC and lasted as a civilization about a thousand years ago. The runes were discovered in the late 1800s and some areas are still being excavated. Before its abandonment, Zunantanik was a thriving metropolis with many temples, palaces and a tremendous agricultural effort. In 1893, the ghost story of Zunantanik began with the first sighting of a Mayan maiden. A man who was a part of a research team working on the site saw her early one morning. She was ascending the staircase of Zunantanik's main pyramid, wearing a flowing white gown with long, thick, dark hair cascading down her back. The woman suddenly stopped and turned to look at the man with red glowing eyes before climbing to the top of the pyramid where she disappeared. Despite searches, no trace of her was ever found. Since then, there have been countless sightings of the ghostly maiden, always ascending El Castillo staircase, and her sightings are what gives Zanantunic its name. Translating to the Stone Lady in the Maya language, people have speculated that she may have lived in this city or been a human sacrifice victim, but no one knows who the stone woman haunting Zunantunic truly is. And that's a wrap for exploring the world's scariest ghost towns. 
As we bid farewell to these hauntingly beautiful and spine-tingling ghost towns, we can't help but feel a sense of reverence for the past. The stories of these abandoned communities speak volumes about life's unpredictable nature and humanity's indomitable spirit. So, until we meet again, like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for joining us on this unforgettable journey.